Hey there, summer's right around the corner. So today I wanna to talk about something we haven't discussed much on this channel, your skin. More specifically, I wanna talk about protecting your skin the right way during sunny summer months. But first, I've got a quick question for you. Are there any health topics you'd like to know more about? If so, reply in the comments and let me know what you're curious about. After all, I created this channel for you and I want to make sure you're benefiting from it. So if there's anything you want to know, go ahead and leave a comment below. Now, let's get back to the human body's largest organ, your skin, and how you can keep it in great shape this summer and all year round. Yes, I'm going to talk about sunscreens, though if you haven't read my books, you may be shocked to learn my opinion. But before we get into sunscreen, I want to talk about something you might not be considering when it comes to your skin, your diet. Yep, just like your gut and your brain are connected via the gut-brain axis, your gut and your skin are connected. And you may have guessed, they call it the gut-skin axis. It makes sense. After all, your gut and your skin both have robust microbiomes. That's the bacteria living on or in them. And both the gut and the skin are your body's lines of defense against dangerous invaders. In fact, they work together to keep your body safe and healthy. And like any cohesive team, when one is weak, the other struggles. It's especially true when it comes to your gut. After all, without a healthy gut, your body has trouble getting the nutrition it needs, including the nutrients that support healthy skin. And as you may have guessed, there are a few skin-supporting nutrients that are vital to sun protection. You can almost say you're eating your sunscreen. Starting with lycopene, this nutrient gives a lot of fruits their red and pink color. But studies show it could do a whole lot more. In fact, a 2012 study found that people who eat lycopene regularly are better protected against the sun's UVA and UVB rays especially after they'd eaten lycopene-rich foods daily. Now, I should say, a lot of lycopene-rich foods are off the menu on the Plant Paradox plan. But you can always enjoy peeled, seeded, pressure-cooked tomatoes, red cabbage, raw carrots, or asparagus. And when in season, strawberries and pink grapefruits are pretty good sources of lycopene, too. So, Go ahead and add those foods, especially red cabbage and asparagus, to your regular rotation. Just remember, it takes a couple weeks to really build up in your system. You should also make sure you're getting plenty of omega-3 fatty acids in your diet. That's because some recent studies show that eating omega-3s could potentially help prevent certain types of skin damage, including damage from the sun. And that's great news because it's just another excuse to enjoy some of the most delicious foods on the planet, like omega-3 eggs, walnuts, avocado, wild-caught salmon, and flax seeds, stuff you certainly should be eating every day anyway. Now, before I get into the truth about sunscreens, there's one other nutrient I've got to talk about. It's actually a very specific antioxidant called sulforaphane. And if you want to keep your skin healthy and hopefully avoid skin cancer, it's pretty essential to your diet. You see, a 2015 study found that eating sulforaphane-rich foods could keep skin cells healthy over the long term. Now, it's not like you can go to the store and pick up a bottle of sulforaphane on the shelves, but you can get yourself some broccoli. It's one of the most sulforaphane-rich foods on the planet especially broccoli sprouts. Not a broccoli fan? Check out the other cruciferous vegetables, including kale, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, or cauliflower to get your fix. And keep your skin supported no matter how much fun in the sun you're having. And also, make sure you're enjoying foods that are high in vitamin C, the ultimate beauty nutrient. It'll keep your skin radiant, strong, and healthy. Good news, broccoli is rich in vitamin C, as well as sulforaphane. So are kale and Brussels sprouts. Cruciferous vegetables are pretty amazing, right? And longevity-promoting herbs like thyme and parsley are also pretty vitamin C-rich. 
You can also season your food with plenty of lemon juice and zest for a punch of fresh flavor and vitamin C. Yes, I said lemon juice, which is technically a fruit juice. But if you've ever tried fresh squeezed lemon, you know there's not enough sugar to worry about. Now, when it comes to spending time outside, common wisdom says wear your sunscreen. But unless you're careful, common wisdom is wrong. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not telling you to skip sunscreen entirely. I'm telling you to shop smart because certain chemical compounds in a lot of commonly available sunscreens actually disrupt your microbiome, leading to bigger health issues down the road. Those compounds include avobenzone, oxybenzone, and octocrylene, as well as phthalates, parabens, and other hormone disruptors. Instead, look for a sunscreen with titanium oxide or zinc oxide base for your sun protection. Or consider protective clothing, like long sleeve shirts and wide brim hats, if you've got particularly sensitive skin. After all, it's pretty hard to have fun in the sun if you're dealing with a sunburn. And this summer, I want you to have the time of your life, safely, of course, because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. 